Right. So I, I did join General Motors and um, I did start my career in, well, obviously on the boards, but mm -hmm. eventually became a release engineer for interiors and in seating. Seating, for the most part, was my first engagement and then expanded that through interiors. Mm -hmm. And tell us about some of the vehicles. People want so, to know about oh, the yeah. vehicles, yeah. So, the cars. Yeah. So I worked on several, but probably the, the, the most uh, significant program I worked on for a good deal of my career there um, was back in, and we're going way back now, into the 1980s, so late yeah. 80s, and 89 to be specific. Yeah. Is, so I was a release engineer for interiors and seating, and I worked on the Camaro Firebird platform. And why this is kind of significant is because this was my introduction to Sandy Monroe. Yeah. So I'm sitting, so we're, in, we're at John Moore's on the FCAR platform, and the platform's not doing well, okay? It's just not very profitable. And at some point, General Motors must have reached out to Sandy and said, you got to help us uh, get this car back on track. So he accepted that position. And so the whole entire platform team, including manufacturing, had to go through Sandy's courses. And that is how I got introduced mm -hmm. to Sandy. And so uh, so during that, that program of training, if you, you've been through it, our, yeah. A lot of our clientele have been through it, the lean design training, parts elimina elimination, elimination. Yeah. and combination, and, and just general efficiency, design efficiency. It's a big deal. So we got that training at mm -hmm. General Motors, and that is where uh, we were able to gain some significant improvements, at least in, in seating. And we're talking 50% assembly cost savings in seating alone. Yeah. And that, that, then we were Huge. seeing this regularly in various systems throughout that vehicle. Right. And that is what put several, myself and several other individuals of that team in front of the likes of Rob Stemple and Jack Smith. It mm -hmm. was pretty amazing for someone, a really, relatively young engineer, to have that kind of exposure. So it was kind of cool. Yeah, that was, was he CEO at that yeah. point? Yes, yeah. yeah. So it yeah. was, it was, it was kind of cool. Um, but that, that's not kind of where it ended because I ended up not only being a release engineer, but I got to launch that product, which is, a really good thing to take a product from concept to launch. It's it's something yeah. that most people don't get a chance to do, so that was that was a pretty significant event in my life. So we're talking several years of my career at General Motors, yeah. more than half of it on one platform, going from concept to production. So great experience all around, and that those type of successes get reaped on the factory floor, as you well know, right? Yeah. So yeah, okay, we were able to gain maybe upwards of. 27 30 percent quality savings at the plant mm -hmm. but you can imagine that probably got translated from the design improvements prior to right yeah. i mean if you can do all that parts elimination and combination right parts that don't exist don't fail don't have any quality concerns so that i'm sure was a great deal of the quality improvements that we were able to realize at the plant and yeah, granted, they didn't haven't seen numbers like that in quite some time, so everybody continued to get the accolades from yeah. that platform. But it's a true testament to to Sandy's methodology and his lean training. It, it's a, uh, it's it's quite it was quite an amazing learning. Right. As you, if you probably remember, when you learn, it stays with you forever. It's yeah. not you just it becomes part of your thought process and it gets embedded, and you begin yeah. to look at products in a whole new way. Yeah, you see everything in a much different way, and it right. makes it into on the plant floor, simpler product Absolutely. to put together. And that showed up as the 93 Camaro and Firebird, Correct. right? Yeah. The F cars. Yeah, it was like the fourth generation. Yeah. yeah. And, and it launched at St. Therese, so yeah. that, was, that was the fourth generation, yeah. And I remember really liking those cars. Yeah, was it was hot. a much different look mm -hmm. from the, what the, yeah. the outgoing uh, Camaros. So. Right. And, that, you know, just switching a little bit, that's something that uh, you and I share is I met Sandy when he came to General Motors, where yeah. I was at the yeah. time. And uh, that's when he left Ford, and immediately GM picked him up. Yep. And big successes all across General Motors. To yeah. the, Remember the, the 3.8 liter V6 yeah. engine yeah. up at Potter Lake? There's going to be a very short list of people to remember that. Yeah. Um, that there was um, a lot of successes through the those years that um, Sandy was at GM. So, yeah, it was uh, fun, and uh, it, it's fun taking that walk back down memory lane. 